this is this is really interesting because uh, if you look at the the shape of the fireplace, that's the you know the the the, um, the chimney breast, as it were, and it comes down, and you'll see this this very typical. You see how I've taken off the the wallpaper. That's for loose, damp wallpaper, and it's going up in a triangle. Yeah. And that is absolutely typical. And you, you've got the worst bit in the middle. It's absolutely, you know, soaking with salt in the middle. But <clears throat> down there, it's all salty and horrible, and it's been, you know, renovated with with um, gypsum plaster and all the rest of it. And uh, you'll notice that everything stops when you get up there. And what you got here is is the original lime plaster in perfectly good condition. There's nothing wrong with it. But you've got this very typical. Um, triangle that forms at the base of every uh, chimney which is full of where the wall is full of salts derived from the, the fire from combustion so all we need to do now is just open this up get it breathing and the whole wall will just dry out all this is to do with salts from people lighting fires it's just years and years and years of fires um, so we've just got to sort this out we'll take a bit of plaster off here I'll show you what the wall's like behind it'll be absolutely stopping wet um, but <clears throat> you know this lot, you know this this brickwork now um, probably will start to dry out. You can feel it; it is absolutely sodden. You know it, it's just horrible. But <clears throat> it will dry. But what we do have to recognise is that a lot of the um, the moisture in here now is um, salt-related moisture. It's not just physical wet water. Um, it's bound into the structure of the brick uh, by the salts that have come from the fire. So it's going to be a little bit of a job to get rid of it, but we will, we will sort it.